Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It's February 24th, 2023, and it is a little bit snowy out, a little bit chilly out, about minus 10, I guess. We're going to have between 5 and 10 centimeters. It's pretty much all down now. Uh, it was uh, a little bit this morning and late last night, so while I was at work, I had uh, snowflakes fluttering around, but uh, not too bad. Made things a little bit slippery, but all right. I've been back to work for a week now. Uh, my back is healed, so thank you for all of you who have uh, reached out and uh, sent messages and things like that. I appreciate it. Uh, it's nice to be thought of, uh, especially when you're not feeling 100%. But I'm back to myself, and I've got a bunch of mail to go through. So some of it we're going to see today, and some of it we will see in future videos. But I'll give you a sneak peek at what we've got in here all along. All right, I've got four official postcards to start with. This is the first one. It comes from Holland, as you can see, or the Netherlands. And uh, it says, my name is, and then the postmark goes right through it. So I can't read. It starts with C. So uh, I don't know of Corey or something like that, maybe. But it says she lives in a village in uh, the south of the Netherlands. Uh, country is very beautiful. We have all kinds of nature. She has five grandchildren, which she likes to play Lego with because they like it too. And she also likes to make pictures with the Lego. So that is really cool. I'm glad to hear that uh, we have someone else who is enjoying Lego. I'm going to show you the stamps. She said she added an extra stamp for me. So I appreciate that. You can see how many times it got cancelled. Unfortunately, the wavy lines went right through your name. So if you are watching this, I do apologize. But leave a comment. Let me know uh, your name in the, in the comments and that you got a chance to see this. I appreciate it. All right. My next official postcard comes from the United States. It comes from San Francisco. It's a Doctor Who postcard. And this is a Doctor Who from 1973. So a little bit older. A uh, bit before my time too. Uh, I have watched some of the older ones. Uh, not all of them. Uh, especially not uh, all the black and white ones. There are lots back there. Um, some were hard to get into more than others, but uh, this is from that time period here. The funny thing, what uh, this, this comes from Tally, and she says, I'm going to give you a joke. And she says, why was the pancake arrested? Why was the pancake arrested? For unwaffle behavior or unwaffle activities. So there you go. There's a little joke you can pass on to uh, other people. Uh, it's very much a dad joke or... A, yeah, so I appreciate that. It's nice to get something a little different on the back of cards. Sometimes, sometimes people, people put their favorite quotes or a book that they're reading or a, a recipe, something or other. So jokes are always nice too. I'm going to show you. She's also covered it in great stamps. And this one here never even got cancelled. So this is an artist stamp at the bottom. Can you imagine your mail vehicle looking like that? I guess that was a, a thought of what uh, mail trucks could look like in the future. Uh, we are not at that future yet. So thank you, Tally, for that. All right, my next postcard is a Lord of the Rings postcard. And it comes all the way from Prince Edward Island. So this has become the closest official postcard that I've received. Um, when I looked at how long it took, it only took five days to get here, which is still a little long, five days or four days. Um, but that may also have been because of when I uh, registered the card. So I only collect my mail at the uh, post... Um, my P.O. box on Fridays and so if this postcard happened to show up on Monday then they probably would sit there for four more days so uh, it's only had to travel 81 kilometers from where she lives so we have that she's got the Hanukkah stamp on there it was pen cancelled unfortunately um, but she says uh, at 61 she was getting ready to go snowmobiling and uh, so she was hoping she wasn't going to be too sore the next day. Hopefully, Emma, you weren't. I really appreciate that. I do like the card a lot. So uh, thank you very much, Emma, for that. And for telling me a little bit about what you're up to on these wintry days. All right. My last official one came in an envelope. It comes from France. Now, the funny thing about this envelope, and some of you in Europe may be able to tell me why, or uh, maybe this is a thing there. These aren't real stamps. Well, in, not in the uh, in the meaning that they have gum on the back or they're self-adhesive. Now you can pick it away. He's got she's got them taped down, but it's just a piece of paper, so it looks like printed postage and then just taped on the envelope. But it is 
canceled here. So it was approved postage by uh, the French post office. So can you, if you're not in an area that you can buy postage, can you go online and print your stamps and buy them that way? Uh, let me know. Caroline, if you're watching this, you're in France, is that something you can do? You can just go online and print your postage. It almost looks like, to me, it almost looks like fake stamps. Like someone just created stamps and just taped them on the front. I know that's not what they did. I'm trying to dig out here. There is the postcard that she sent. And I had a hard time with the name reading it too. I don't think it's Marie and I don't think it's Martine or Maude. So if you know the name or you are this person, let me know. She said, hello, my boyfriend organizes this festival for the last eight years. We've been to Montreal before for a similar festival and Belgium festival and the Montreal festival are partners. So here's the festival. One of the cars, I like the way they took the uh, Volkswagen bug and uh, made it kind of dinosaur-esque or uh, reptilian. And then she also included some other blank ones of previous years of the same festival in France. It looks fun. All the sponsors there at the bottom. So if you happen to be in uh, Chigny, I guess, this is uh, the Comte de Chigny Festival Anticulture. Uh, in July is what it, uh, the second weekend in July. You guys can look it up and see and find out more about that. You can see these two are both blank postcards so I can send them back out into the world. And this is the one she wrote on. So she included those. She also included some real stamps and uh, they're from Belgium. So we have these floral ones. They're brightly colored. And this one, and this one. So thank you so much for that. Thank you for the envelope. I look forward to hear, reading the comments about these French uh, self-made stamps or self-printed stamps, whatever the case may be. All right, moving on to some friend mail. We have this Scottish Castle one. This comes from John. It's been a little while since I've heard from John, so happy to get something from him. Um, he included this stamp on the back. But more impressive or more interesting for me is this sticker down here that says, God save the King, His Royal Highness, King Charles III, May the 6th, 2023. So this is a coronation sticker of uh, the upcoming event that's coming for King Charles III. Uh, this is my first uh, viewing of a sticker or something. It has something to do with the king. Um, I did get an image of uh, one of the uh, new coins that has come out with the king's image on the back that's in England. Uh, we haven't seen anything here. I've seen an image of a purple stamp with the king's image on it that hasn't been released yet. But things are starting to come. So I'm curious to see as more and more things come. So thank you, John, for this. Thank you for uh, how you've decorated the back and uh, the sticker on the bottom, really appreciate that. All right, my next card. You've seen these cats, these lucky cats around. This comes from Linda, and Linda is in the Netherlands. And uh, she says, a little bit of luck coming your way. Hope that by the time this card arrives, your back is finally healed again. So it is, so thank you very much. Uh, she said uh, next weekend is Carnival, so that was, uh, we're just looking when she sent this, she sent this on the 10th of February. So that means probably this weekend, or last weekend rather, was a carnival for her. And so she had some time to spend with the kids and enjoying that. And look at the cute little hedgehog stamp. I don't have that one, so I'm very happy about that. Um, on the back, there's a quote. It says, when it comes to luck, you make your own by Bruce Springsteen. But... What I thought was really interesting is the parentheses next to it. It says 1907 to 2022. Tell me why it says that. Because Bruce Springsteen, the musician, was not born in 1907 and he hasn't yet passed. Um, but this is clearly a lyric from one of his songs. Uh, did he get this from someone else? Is there a poet that uh, died in 2022 named Bruce Springsteen as well? Um, 
I'm perplexed. I don't know. I tried to look it up and all it would show me was the artist Bruce Springsteen. And uh, I have no idea why it says 1907 to 2002. I think I said 22 before, but 2002. So if you know, let me know. Fill me in. Okay, moving on. So thank you, Linda. This one comes from Media in Finland. So here we've got the Finnish flag and the Finnish country and all sorts of different things you might see along the way. Uh, so she was away again and she was getting some chocolate and enjoying life as she does. And there's the nice winter stamp. She also sent me this one here. She went on a meetup. So this is a Valentine's meetup in Finland on February 12th. Sorts of cute things there with the uh, paper airplanes and the bunnies and the um, you know, hearts and all the rest of the stuff. And then she says, there are 16 of us at the meetup today. And here are all the stamps along the way. And the cool stamp, really like that one. You know, it's another one that's not a normal shape. All the little houses, very fun looking one. Even has a very neat cancellation mark on it. So thank you, Media, for that. Thank you for the, the meetup card. I hope you had a great time at it. Uh, I'm sure it was fantastic. Now, speaking of meetups, we have this one here, another Valentine's Day one. This was on February the 11th in Austria. And this card comes from Carl. Carl wasn't the only one at this one, though, and I'll get to that in a minute. But it says on the front, Valentine friendship. Little red hearts are meant to say, I'm thinking of you on Valentine's Day. I like being friends with you to write postcards and say, thanks for your friendship on this Valentine's Day. Very nice card. And there are everybody at the Austrian meetup. Wow, there's a lot of people there. But down here at the bottom, it says, hi, Rob. And this is Daisy. So uh, Anita was at the meetup too. And she got to talking with Carl and with Christian. Because Christian sent me a postcard from the same meetup. They had a, a different version. So you can see there's this version and there's that version. So Chris sent me this one. And there is the stamp, and there's a beautiful cancellation on it. I must go back to this one here. There are the stamps and the cancellation on that, too. Cancellation a little bit clearer on this one, but great nonetheless. So I want to thank uh, Christian and Carl for uh, the meetup cards and um, having a chance to meet up with Anita there as well. So I appreciate that. All right, my next one is another Valentine's Day card that came through. This is a self-created one, this or... Not by me, but by Shara in BC. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so she created this nice thickness to it. Uh, all sorts of great stamps along it. And uh, on the other side, you can see the stamps that she used were not cancelled. So thank you, Shara, for that. Thank you for the thought for Valentine's Day. Then I received this envelope. This one just came today. Stamps are not cancelled, but I know it was mailed within Canada. There is no return address. There's nothing on the back, so I have no way of knowing where in Canada it came from. Uh, I'm looking at the writing and comparing it with Shara's here. I'm thinking it might be hers. I've reached out, haven't heard from her yet, but uh, see. Uh, inside, there were some postcards but nothing written on them. So I don't have a message from the person that sent this. I don't have a return address. I don't have a postmark. So if it is you, let me know. I'll show you what was sent. Ah, you know what? Just as I'm writing this, a little message popped up on the side and it's from Shara and Shara says that it is from her. So perfect. Thank you, Shara, for this. There's a nice Japanese inspired postcard. And they're all blank, so I can send them back out into the world. There's this one here. A bush buck. This is from an original oil painting by Craig Bone. Nice long postcard. A little bit more vintage. The cheetahs. These are all Craig Bone paintings. I was recently saying I don't really have many animal postcards left. And voila, all these animal postcards show up. So thank you so much, Shara. Lions, some birds following them around, and some 
impalas, not the car, but the animal. So it's a nice collection of vintage, uh, different size postcards, and uh, the Japanese one too is cool. So thank you, Shira, for that. I'm glad that uh, the message popped up when it did, so I could say thank you so much for thinking of me and sending that off. All right, the next thing I have is this envelope. It showed up. We've got the three editorial Canadian uh, stamps that came. This comes from Kyler in Prince Edward Island. And he sends this happy post-crossing card. And with that, he sent this product, Pure Citrus. So you may have watched earlier in the week, I did a video on Goo Gone, which was uh, suggested to me by Lewis in Dubai. So I did a uh, testing of that on trying to remove the paper from the back of stamps. And it was pretty successful, especially on self-adhesive stamps. That's what we're, we're using the product for. Now, Kyler said he uses this product, which is uh, aerosol, sprays it on, says fast working, works great. So I'm gonna do another video uh, using that product, testing it as well, and do a little comparison between that and Goo Gone and uh, see what you think. If you're already using this product, let me know. I know uh, Kyler said it's uh, you can get it on Amazon here, but it's quite expensive for the shipping. So whenever he gets a chance to go down into the U.S., he usually buys the product there and brings it back. Um, so if it works well, I might do that. Uh, there's quite a bit in there. So he says he only uses it too on these stamps that uh, really require it. If it can be soaked on to uh, soaked off with water, use water to to get the, the backing off your uh, stamps. But if it's a self-adhesive and it needs a little bit more, try Goo Gone or maybe try this product. We're going to do that after. Um, so watch for that video next week. Speaking of continuing videos, this showed up. Big box. Comes from uh, Eric in Toronto. Or you might know him as my brother, Eric. Or my favorite brother, as he might know. All right, inside the box. <laughs> He sent all these Lego minifigures. So I'm not sure what these are. So we're going to do a video in the future and see if uh, we've got some new ones here. You may have watched an older video of me doing a Lego minifigure opening and Eric was with me at the time. So uh, we got to do that together. That's kind of fun. So it was nice to get some of these in the mail from him. It reminds me of that video. If you haven't seen it, go back in my catalog and check it out. It was fun. Um, but I'll do a video opening all these to see what they are in the future. Inside there was also this bag. And in that bag is another bag. And he sent some postcards. Get the right image here. Okay, so we got a 3D postcard of downtown Toronto, the CN Tower. You can see it there. We have another Toronto 3D one. These are nice because uh, he sent me a bunch in the summer of uh, 3D cards and uh, I used them all up and sent them off back into the world. But everyone that got them really seemed to enjoy them. So it'll be nice to send off some more. There's another one that's got Niagara Falls on it. A couple of those ones. So I'll have a few of those to send. I've got four of those. <coughs> Excuse me. Tickle in my throat. All right, here. This is Toronto Skyline again. He's found a bunch of those, so I'll have a variety of those to send out. And then we have this one here. This is Casa Loma, castle in uh, Toronto. Nice house. And then we have one of Niagara Falls. Well, not one, but a few of Niagara Falls. That he sent. Very well. Thank you, thank you. And then he sent this box. It's from a store called uh, Dank Mart. So I'm going to do a video. We're going to unwrap this box in the future and see what it's, what's inside. What's inside? He doesn't even 100 know what's inside because it's a mystery box he bought from this store. So I think it's going to be fun for me to, to get into it and see. Uh, it'll also be fun for Eric to see what he sent. So thank you. I appreciate all that. Uh, I've got 
two videos to make for that. I have one video for Kyler's uh, air freshener with the orange citrus for a stamp um, philately work. So I guess it'll be three videos for sure next week they're going to have to come out. Uh, tomorrow is That Dad Guy Answers. So I'm going to answer your questions. Make sure you go back to the last video last Saturday. Leave me your questions so I have them to answer tomorrow. And then next week is the first Saturday in March. So I'm going to read the postcards that you guys have been sending me answering the question that I asked you guys and then give you a new question too. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. And that also means there's a week left. To hopefully that you've already mailed your uh, answers to me. It uh, gives me another week to collect all of those so they'll all make the video. Um, been happy. There's been a few that have come in already. Uh, so it might be starting slow or might start off great guns and we have lots of postcards to, to go through. Uh, I'm looking forward to it either way and hopefully this will be a fun tradition to carry on and more and more people will get involved in it. So that's what I've got for today. Hopefully you enjoyed as much as I did all the great mail that came in from uh, post crossing and from friend swaps and some mystery parcels I wasn't expecting. So uh, thank you to everybody who's doing that. Thank you to all of you who are subscribing and uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Leave a comment, like, hit the notification bell, do all those things, and more importantly, share with other people that might enjoy this too. Um, I look forward to hearing from everybody that's out there that seems to be watching and uh, continuing a, a positive trend of uh, talking about different hobbies that we all enjoy. All right, have a magical week. What follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?